Here at Miller Motor Cars, picking up my Tempesta. Oh my gosh, bro, this thing is insane. What? This is unbelievable what they did with this car. It's pretty cold out here, I'm not gonna lie. We're breaking the internet, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Dude, we are headed to New York. Um, we are gonna go check out my Pagani Waira Roadster Tempesta at Miller Motor Cars, who is the authorized distributor um, on the East Coast for Pagani. And they worked, uh, you know, Pagani had some, I think some, some engineers come in to make sure this thing was locked and loaded. Additionally, I've asked them to uh, put some snow tires on the car. So those snow tires get in this week. It's actually kind of insane and Man, I'm stoked like I cannot wait to see this car. It's gonna be so amazing What up? Dude, is this my new Zonda? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so sick. Hey, what's up brother? How are you? Good to see you, Good to see you. Hey, hey. Dude, did you wear a tie just for me? You can be honest. You've never worn a tie before. Come on. Thanks for making the trip. Yeah. Every time course. I see you, I'm like, I really don't recognize that guy. You're like It's about 20 pounds every time. It's the first time I saw him, I'm like, I don't know that guy. You might be able to fit in a race car now. Uh, Yeah, actually. Is this a race car? Yeah. This is a race car. You might actually be able to fit in this. Funny enough, it's actually Horatio's first true customer motorsport car. He built it in 2002, and then they. Uh, the gentleman had an S already, and it was actually kind of a forgotten car. It was always in America, but it is a manual box, which makes it fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we're having it on display for a little bit. We have a little BC here, which is beautiful. One of the 20, yeah. chassis 16. So tell me what the difference between a BC and my car is now. Yeah, so the BC has, firstly, when it was born, had a different gearbox. The BCs had different gearboxes. Also, the carbon material uh, is much more rigid, weight, as I mentioned, gearbox, suspension's different, uh, but a lot has been transformed into the Roadster. I mean, you have like the yeah. latest and greatest um, special Multimatic style suspension system. The gearbox is also different now. Mm -hmm. It's got the new exhaust. So Evan, I'm gonna grab this You'll see the downpipes and then you'll see. I'm gonna grab this for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> see how looking out I was gonna leave it like that, Tess, <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, it's, it's a good idea. I don't know if you're Actually, trying to keep it up or something. <laughs> Yeah, so, uh, you know, there's actually a lot that was changed on your car, so yeah, yeah. that'll be interesting for you guys to see the difference between the two. Yeah, I'm excited. The car's really cool. So is he gonna drive totally differently because of the new gearbox? Like, I think the gearbox would feel very different. One also is the suspension feel. There's a setting where he can just completely soften the suspension. So Do we not have, like, models or anything to, like, uncover the car? Like, nothing? Uh, oh, we have you. Look at this guy. Okay. Sexy yes. Ivani. Sexy. Ivani. Ivani Pagani. Oh my gosh, bro, this thing is insane. <laughs> Holy cow. I can't even believe this. Like the whole front end has changed. The roof scoop, the huge wing on the back. I mean, look at these, these louver things. Like, you know, like really, really aggressive aero and body styling. Like this is unbelievable. The upgrades that the Tempesta package has done. Absolutely insane. Evan, how, how many of these have landed on the ground that people actually There's only two uh, that have been done for North America, and the other one is for some high reason still in Europe, so. So this is the only physical Tempesta Roadster on the ground? Correct. It's the only one in the United States as of right now. It's the first one also installed in the US. What? <laughs> so it actually had your last, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they also came and really also spent a lot of time with the team to put it together because it was new for our team and also for them. Look at this, look at this, like this angle oh, right here. Wild. Just blends in 
you know, to this new aero package. It's so intense. We're listening to the new exhaust. I mean, this exhaust is like, I mean, it's, it's like a new car. It's honestly unbelievable. Look at that. Oh. Where's the button? Sorry. So there's a button that's called soft, oh, mode. soft mode. Yeah, that will Check this out. really change. Check that out. Soft mode. So the only changes interior-wise are soft. Interesting. That's wild, actually. Look at, look at wow, this, right? this thing is nice. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, that's not a bad view, right? BC Zonda, my new Tim Pesta. Yeah, dude, that's so. So previously, these seat bolsters were an inch in on both sides, right? Like I'm 6'3", 200 pounds. This car, or at least the seats, were originally made for someone that was probably 5'5", 120. Like, like no joke. And so, on long drives, which I've been on several drives where I'll do hundreds of miles in a day, like the Pagani Raduno, on long drives, these would pinch kind of the the outer part of my thighs and just be really uncomfortable. So I had to put like a uh, a, uh, a pillow like an old person. And, and Tase, you saw that, I right? I saw that. Yeah, I and you made, I'm pretty sure you made fun of me for I it. I did, it so, was yeah. hilarious. Like, oh, cool, cool grandpa <laughs> pillow. Like, that's awesome. So, um, you know, and so I had them take an inch out of both sides so that it just it just fits me better. Like, I'm not a small dude, I'm a big dude. You know, I was 6'3", 242, but thanks to Manjaro. Manjaro. Ask your doctor about once weekly Manjaro. I don't know what the jingle is. <laughs> That's it. No, I'll yeah. cut it in. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. <laughs> I'm down to 200 pounds. You know what I mean? Let's so, go. Let's go. Let's, let's go, go. Manjaro. As far as like someone who cares about their customers, like it's like polar oppos opposites. Like what I got from the Pagani family, Horacio and his son Christian, and what's the other son's name? Uh, Leonardo. Leonardo. Like. They legitimately were like, what do you like about the car? What do you not like about it? What can we do to better? What can we, like, they like really sincerely cared. Ferrari, on the other hand, like, does not care about their customers even one second. Like, they don't care. They're so passionate. Yeah. They are obsessed. Yes. Uh, his yes. home has a lot of attributes. I've been to his house. It's a, a nice sized house, but it's got, like, car Pagani stuff everywhere. They're like, you know, it's their, yeah. it's their devotion I mean, to. It's their family business. It's yeah. their family business. They live, eat, and breathe it. It's yeah. everything. A bunch of Mormons coming yes. in to like. We yeah. have Welch's yeah. and Martinelli's. Oh my god. Hair gosh. flavor, baby. You have hair flavor. I know that's your favorite. You're breaking it out, man. Yeah. I love that. All the tricks. <laughs> I, I think we're going to take this thing out and go bomb around. Uh, if New York is known for anything, it's really smooth, good roads, okay? So we're going to go test out the new suspension. There is a soft mode that they've installed in this car that uh, will make it you know, supposedly perfect for driving on basically anything. So we'll turn this into an off-roader, I'm sure, at some point, along with all my other vehicles. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this thing is, this is unbelievable what they did with this car. Like, unbelievable. I can't, I, I'm, I'm just blown away. Evan did it by hand on night. <laughs> Miller Motor Cars, picking up my Tempesta. We're gonna go for a quick spin, uh, trying to feel what the changes are, what the differences are, because new gearbox, new suspension, new aero, new exhaust, I mean, so much new on this car. Uh, they're telling me, expect a pretty different feeling car, so I'm excited to drive it. Woo. It's pretty wild. Like this, from a spec perspective, dude, is like pretty nuts. All right, getting on the freeway here in Greenwich. No idea where we're going. Did they say we're going to his workshop, is that what he said? Yeah. You see something like this driving around, which I do every now and then, and you're just like, holy crap. The road presence on this car is unbelievable.
We just had a great time at Pagani. In fact, look, Pagani Bears, taking some stuff home for my kids. Uh, phenomenal job by Miller and by the Pagani family. I mean, just that car turned out absolutely insane. So fun to see it, so fun to be here and uh, you know, drive it around for a quick minute. And now it's coming back to Utah. Let's go. All right, it is bright and early. Actually, I don't know why they call it bright and early. It is dark and early. A little 4 a.m. wake up call here in New York City. And uh, yesterday we were with Ron out at Pagani of Greenwich. And he had the genius idea, instead of driving the Pagani into town, um, just to get the Pagani on a flatbed and drop the Pagani off the flatbed in Times Square at 4.45 in the morning. This is gonna be sick. Big thank you, the legend Gabe Nakash. That's me. I'm here. It's uh, what is it? 24 degrees outside. Yeah, a little, maybe four, a little bit colder with the wind four, chill. 4:47 in the morning in Times Square <laughs> in a Pagani Wire Roadster, and uh, we're making the best of it. It couldn't be worse, you know. And you I know was, what? I wouldn't trade it for the world. I wouldn't trade it. For the I world wouldn't trade it for case, the world, especially with you, brother. You're the best. This is incredible. You and are the best. Gabe's flight actually took off yesterday. <laughs> And he was kind enough to move around some plans, being the busy guy Gabe is. I couldn't let... And he stuck it out with us. He I could not let out. my boy drive Ron's one-off Wire Tempesta Roadster in Manhattan by himself. That wasn't going to happen alone. You know, you like had to I be there for that. couldn't do that. It would be completely against everything I stand for. Just to put this into perspective of how crazy this is, this is technically the first Pagani Wire Roadster Tempesta in the country, wheels on the ground, and we have it in New York City in Times Square for what has come to be the craziest morning and photo shoot, I think, ever. <laughs> so, this is epic. This is so sick. It doesn't, this is peak existence. Listen, all Gabe and I have been talking about this week is New York moments. Talk about a New York moment right now. Hailing a cab in Times Square. Well, we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, blocked right now by this fire truck right here. So we're gonna have to wait in the cold corner. Oh! oh. oh. No way! I can't believe we caught him. A wild <laughs> yellow cab. Hop in, dog. Little Stromboli, how you doing? Little Busta, little how you doing? Little Villa, how you from New York? How are you? <laughs> 